Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey, hey, but yeah, people can see this. Oh, already getting love out there. Wow, look at this. You just got on. Look at the people already. Hearts and love and wow. This That's what I'm talking about. God bless everyone. This is just oh, an yeah. impromptu live. Yes. Very impromptu live. Mm hmm Oh, how's everybody doing out there? Can I hear you? Mm-hmm. All right, that's one more. So, so, what's going on? Well, we decided to just jump on here. Internal. Right, just jump on here. Unplanned. Sean and I just happen to be talking about some particular subject. And we thought, man, this is a good, this is a good um, subject and conversation that we're having. And yeah. And it was Sean who said, let's go live. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'm good. I mean, that's good. I was like, okay, <laughs> let's go live. Why not? Why not get together with some brothers and sisters out there and just have a conversation or two and give God some praise? So, Sean, you want to talk about what, what got us uh, online here? Yeah, so what what got us online was about um kinda with the shirt. So um y'all see this shirt? Lee made this shirt for me. Lee took the lyrics of my song and made this shirt for me. And when I was at church today, someone was saying like this is very bold to be walking around wearing a shirt like this, you know, because you're not afraid of what people think about you and stuff. And we were me and Lee were talking about during these times like especially being the end days and stuff that you have to be bold or you should want to be bold in Christ or in your faith because the enemy's out there doing stuff boldly and we should as Christians and as saints of God we should be able to be bold because the Bible says in Ephesians that we're ambassadors to Christ we're we're his children we're his ambassadors so the boldness to walk in the boldness of God is is what this topic is really about. So um, that's where we're at, at least. So, mm -hmm. I mean, how you, about the shirt and the boldness? Right. Can, can read your shirt to everybody. Uh, the drip drop. It says drip drop. The blood of Christ can't be stopped. Amen. For those of y'all who can see it. So it's just about being bold for the Lord and stuff. And, um, and we were just saying, like, so even she got some scriptures and stuff, but there was this one particular one that stuck to me, um, which was in Acts 28 and 31. Mm -hmm. And in Acts 28, 31, for those of y'all who got a Bible, you know, raise your hand, say amen. Let me know when you get there. Mm -hmm. Y'all can, can open it up, follow along. But in Acts um, 28, 31, I'm reading it from the HCS because the easiest one for right now. But it says, um, Proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching the things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with full boldness and without hindrance. So, so with the topic being about boldness and and being like being bold enough to wear a shirt like this in public and not worried about what people think or what they're going to say. The Bible, there's several scriptures throughout the Bible that talks about being bold for Christ, mm -hmm. and um, I just wanted people to know to encourage them. We shouldn't be walking around fear, worrying about what people think about, like, clothes that we wear, if we wear this. Because just like some people, if they, they, Lee said it, you know, what she said earlier, there's teams out, there's people out there who wear sports team um, type of gear, where they got, like, whatever year, I, I live in Chicago, so, you know, we did say Chicago Bulls or Bears, they wear their jerseys and clothes all the time, which especially Chicago Cubs. They, they love the Cubs out here. So, they wear their gear, their their clothes, and all this stuff all the time. Be bold for that sports team that don't even know them. 
a sports team that don't care anything about them, that that, that don't even have any kind of relationship with them. Mm-hmm. They'd be wearing, they'd be out there wearing clothes and stuff, supporting them very boldly. But then when it comes down to Christians, some of us, I can't say all, but some people aren't bold because they're worried about what other people think. They want to, you know, wear like a, they're rather wear other stuff. Exactly. But people who wear mm-hmm. sports gear, they don't sit there and say, hey, um, let me make sure I, I don't wear the wrong team gear for people. Right. You know, they put it on and they put it on proudly. They walk around proudly saying, these are my sports colors in this, and this, this is my team. I love this team. The team don't even know them. Right. At least when I'm wearing a shirt like this that represents my Savior, because, again, we should be ambassadors for Christ, mm-hmm. God knows us. Mm-hmm. God has a relationship with us. God knows that, hey, this is my son, and he's my father, so he has a relationship with me. So he's wearing this to honor and glorify me and being bold about me. And also to start certain conversations, because, you know, some people will ask about it. Some people may not, but... If you're still representing your father in heaven. You're still representing Christ, which we should be doing at all times anyway. So, again, like I said, Acts 28, verse 31, mm-hmm. again, it says, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching the things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with full boldness and without hindrance. Mm-hmm. So that's just where, again, this is kind of what we were talking about, just being being able to be bold for God and, and not being ashamed of him. Like, um, another thing, because I was talking to, to this guy at church when I was at church today, and he was saying how he feels very uncomfortable raising his hands and lifting his hands at church and praising God. And I was telling um, I was telling him that, I said, man, that's, I said, we're at church. I said, church is the place where we should be able to praise God comfortably. We should be able to put our hands up and honor God and glorify and praise him comfortably, because all throughout the Bible, it says praise God. Yes. Now, we don't have a uh, particular scriptures right now, but if you Google it or you can find them, you're going to see all kind of stuff that says praise God throughout the Bible. Right. And we're a church. We should be able to do that. If you go to a concert, uh, a concert with an artist, a famous artist, people at concerts be jumping up, screaming with their hands up. You go to a football game, they screaming, they screaming and yelling for their team. Baseball, basketball, they get up, they be screaming and yelling, and those people have no relationship with those players or the team or the organization. Exactly. They're just out there cheering them on because they say, that's my team, that's my team. So at church, we should be able to walk around with that boldness and say, Lord, you're, I'm part of this team. Mm-hmm. You see, you're part of the body of Christ. It's not like you're not connected. We're part of this team. Right. And we should be able to have that boldness in us, especially during these times. The enemy's coming out very bold, doing what he wants to do, mm-hmm. and people are, are are they're following him. They're easy following him and doing that. But us, you know, some Christians they just they don't understand how important it is for us to be bold. But that's where we are right now. Yeah, and it's, exactly. And it, it and it, you know, it started off. Um, it started off with your shirt today. This conversation opening up because your friend had made a statement about your shirt and commenting how bold you were um, to wear that. And so, um, like Sean said, I I printed that shirt because so many of the lyrics in his his songs are, you know, declaring scripture, declaring truth. It's bold. It's nothing that's watered down. And um, uh, just a little plug. That's from the album Arrival, <laughs> called Drip Drop, right? <laughs> I just put a little plug in there. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, we were t- it, it opened up even conversation. Uh, like Sean was saying, you know, his friend was was saying how he can't. It, it's not in him, or he he doesn't have the boldness in church to raise his hands. Um, and worship and praise, you know, he's on the quieter side. And I understand that, N- not knocking anybody who, you know, doesn't stand up or doesn't praise. What we were trying to say is that we have to have a boldness in this time for for Christ. We all, you know, have seen in the news, we've listened to music, we've seen, you know, things on social platform. We're saying has come through boldly. He, before I remember back in the days, if anything, you know, like like we were talking about the little Nas shoes, right? The Nike 
blood shoes. If that had come out, like even I want to say maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, they would shut that down so quick, right? And and now it's it's just like Satan knows that these are the end days. He knows the clock is ticking. His time is coming to an end. So it's like he's throwing everything. What's that saying? Um, everything but the kitchen sink out there to really um, show his face. Uh, and and there's no hiding. And again, um, we need to be as ambassadors of Christ, representatives of of. Uh, being the light and the salt and uh, representing God's word and his power and Jesus, the salvation of Jesus, we need to be bold out there. So yeah, that just kind of got us on a conversation to how um, I was telling Sean how I have, <laughs> there's some friends that I've talked to uh, where I've seen them watch sports and their energy, they got their gear on and their energy is on 10, cheering for their team and everything. And I would think, why aren't we like that for, for, for our father in heaven? Why aren't we, you know, wearing stuff on shirts, his word or some type of scripture, something encouraging? Why aren't we boldly representing God like that, right? And a lot of people will say, oh, I don't wanna wanna offend anybody. Or, you know, I, I, I'm trying to, you know, make things comfortable. I think what we're doing is we end up conform, we're conforming to the world, right? Let's just put yeah. out there what is, is comfortable and non-offensive and, you know, um, and, and we can't be like that, you know? We, we really have to step into our faith and, and, and proclaim proclaim the word of God. And that can even be just on a shirt. That's one of the little side things that I've been doing is, is printing up shirts because we're like walking billboards, right? All of us, we're all a walking billboard. I know when I walk past by somebody and they have something on their shirt, I look, I read it, right? And it often sometimes can reflect, you know, the, either the characteristics of the person, the beliefs of that person or their what they like and such. And, so, um, yeah, but again, you know, whether it's a shirt and hopefully we're, we're doing that more out of our mouth, proclaiming the word of God, uh, we have to be bold in this season. And if you caught our, our live, um, has it already been a week, a, a week ago, we talked about uh, being full of joy because, uh, that this is the season where joy is our spiritual weapon. And, um, Yeah. Uh, again, you know, I, 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 I know I've not in, how should I say this? I know I've discouraged a lot of fans in, in my family and in my circle because I'll see them watch games and there's nothing wrong with liking your a team, you know, cheering on your team and everything. What I'm talking about is the energy and the money and the time and everything that people will put off for a team or people who are not even giving back to them. And I don't mean to sound so cold, but it's like, they don't know you. You're giving your time, your energy, your money, you know, um, whether it's to a ticket to a game or whether it's, um, um, you know, buying stuff that's representing a team or whatever. We're doing all of this. And what return do we have? You know, I know that the word of God that I'm representing on my t-shirt, I, I, you know, he knows me. He knows me. And he's depositing it into me daily. Right? And I and here's the thing. I didn't have to pay for it. It's absolutely free. It's absolutely free. Right. So, again, uh, just an interesting conversation. And we wanted to come on live and, and just share it. And get, you know, your guys' thoughts, too, about, um, you know, what it means to be bold for Christ. Right. Just to me, Steve, Steve, how you guys felt about, you know, are you ashamed or are you comfortable uh, being bold with Christ? Are you comfortable wearing shirts like this or um, at church being bold enough to raise your hands even when no one else is doing it? Mm -hmm. um, just little things like that. We're just talking about the boldness of God and how important it is during this season to
to be bold for Christ, mm -hmm. to be happy, to be joyful, mm -hmm. but to be also bold and let people know who you are and what your stance is um, right. as we represent this kingdom. We represent everything God does. Like, it's, it's about God. It's not even about us. It's really about giving God glory and being bold in everything we do for him. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at. And that's why I was just real quick, you know, live just to share this with you guys. So uh, I guess feel free to leave any comments if you got any questions or whatever. Um, let Lee know that we can get back on here and answer again a little bit later. Yeah. And if you guys have any, you know, subjects that you'd like us to go live on and, and just share, you know, our, our thoughts about, you know, DM me or comment on, on this live, which will later be posted um, on my account. And uh, I would love to, you know, come back on live and talk about some of the subjects that, that you guys want to talk about. I think, you know, this is a great way to share each other's faith and encourage each other, uplift each other, share scripture, talk about today's subjects. You know, maybe some people have questions and just want another oh. brother or sister's, you know, thoughts on that. So I welcome that. And, and let's do more of these more of these live. Yep. yeah so okay anyways thank you for stopping by thank you for listening to us again yeah. if you missed it or you just came in and you didn't hear what we were talking about initially you can go to my page at she is a butterfly and 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 watch this from the get-go um also follow <laughs> follow yeah. sean yeah. and sean yeah. where 21 Got an album yeah. coming out soon, full of joy, and I promise you yeah. it is going to fill you with such praise, and, and you just be so filled in the spirit with joy, and this is the season for it. This is the season for it. Um, the enemy's not slowing down, and he's not backing down, and uh, we can't. We can't. So God bless everyone. Have a good rest of your Sunday, and we hope we catch you again soon. All right. Enjoy. Good night. One.